were coming for you, Ingvi. Position. <laughs> what idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm done. <laughs> and you must be the little half breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> You have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Whoa! What did Ghoul told forever do to you? With your reputation, I thought I would at least break a sweat. Have some vibrant on me. Write it down, Wolfover. Fun yet? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, then. Oh, oh look! The stick is back. Huh. Nice stick. He's not expecting Gothia to go off. What the? Oh, wait. You expected the stick to give you an advantage? Yes, thank you. I have seen the stick. I can feel your frustration, you know. It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. Well, I'm waiting. Hilarious! The Sire of the Aesir brought down by an old geezer's cane. Ha! These are new breaks.
pieces! Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. You are way over your head! Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aesir, the Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! <laughs> Only one of us is walking away from this. And it's sure as shit will not be you. Dare you try and spare me? <laughs> I am growing very sick of you. Slow it I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us.
little help? At least the rescue's going well. Hmm. <gasps> 
broken heart. Ow, ow, ow! Easy! Three! Follow! We, uh, got company back here. Oh, no. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, we're almost there, right? Archers ahead! Oh, seriously? Nothing! Oh. Nice job, by the way. Hey, I'm a train. You okay? Hi. No, just hold on. them for long. seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that.
really think that's the end of Birger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. We need cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck, you says it made for. I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Galahorn is the Herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. Hold the trails. We will discuss in private. What'll it be? Something for the kid? Don't forget, you can always whack them with it. You make up your mind. And the kid? Make up your mind? I had something to do. Come back 
if you need more crap. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Let's do it! Hitting the road or chewing the fat? Sorry, love. Viru is the one who found me wounded in the jungle when I was trying to find my way back. He watched over me as I said. I never thanked him. If you want to thank him, don't be captured again. Ooh. Ooh. So see to Moose Bahan. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What does that mean? Hoka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Help us. So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Ah, we can always try finding Helka some other time. You. I read something in Odin's library about what Gjallarhorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Go well, it's somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. as well speak the tree has become rather overgrown and and if it grows too wildly the branches risk getting too heavy and falling which is not ideal considering they hold all the rounds I am no gardener what an absolute shock no I do not require any horticultural skills from you but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the four seasons they normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. 
consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. Speaking of, here, take some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Bitterness asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Thimblewinter prevented the stag. We now, are needed elsewhere. Are finding those lean worms. Seems we met another of your detachable emotional apparitions. Bit too twitchy to tell us his name, though. Ah, you must mean anxiety. Oh, no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Sad. What? Oh, dear, oh, dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, Bitter. Are you sure? Yes, Anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah, people! Farewell.